Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2 with the Reapers Do expansion as King Kazimierz the Great of Poland, who actually has great pox right now and is a lunatic. So that is kind of problematic. We have um, attacked the Golden Horde, which well, I actually thought it was a good idea because we also, also had Lithuania in the war, but then the Lithuanian king died and we are left without, without um, you know, a friend like that. Maybe I should... Who's your heir? Your brother-in-law. Oh, interesting. Hmm. Your heir is my vassal, but as you're a king and I'm a king, that won't help me. Okay, let's then pause and see if we can actually win this war. It was going well until the Lithuanian king died, because now we're left with less troops. But they also have a rebellion, so if they start fighting each other, or... When the Hungarians help us, if the Hungarians help us, that can be quite good. We'll see though, because the Hungarians are fighting Bosnia right now. Okay, we have lost those counties. When will you leave the county? On the 5th of March. Let's go after them. Because they're probably fighting the rebels right now. And the rebels will probably destroy them, so I can just retake. I could march in and destroy the rebels after they destroy them, but I don't think I want to fight the rebels at all. Well, the rebels are actually going to lose. You know what? I'm going in and fighting them. Because they have low morale. Come on. Yes. Perfect. Who have I captured? A chief. Should I chase them on? Probably not. What I should do is come back here. Oh, actually I should split you in half. And take those two counties. I should actually assault this one because it has very little troops. Very few troops. Okay, I got another claim on the Teutonic Order. Let's use it. Yeah. We'll make use of it later. Um, I will assault the holding. And that was probably a mistake. Although, no, it's actually doing, going quite well. Okay, we have taken two. Now I can leave the rest be and combine my troops with the ones in Galich. Because this is a more important province. Oh! Lithuania just got some land. I guess that's good. Maybe your re rebels... They just succeeded. Maybe those guys would have been rebels and succeeded as well if we have not if we had not declared war. Maybe we would have gotten those lands for free and I mean they did for attacking. Well, who knows? Are you going to surrender to me now? No. You will not. Come on, Hungarians help me. I need to change my chancellor's position to a different county in the region. We already have two claims. I might be able to get more. Yes, the Bradenbergians have some claims on us, and that could become a problem later on. Hopefully it won't. Oh crap, my daughter has been beset by oozing lesions and high fever. She has smallpox. God damn it, everyone's sick in this game. Let's hope she will recover. She's my heir, after all. Okay, we can we finish the siege. What's happening? Jordal, a child lacks focus. No, you do humility. Come on, Hungarians. Oh yeah, they finished the war, and they're coming our way. Perfect. So we might actually be able to win this one. Yeah, I wonder if, if we didn't attack, if the rebels would actually join us. I'm very curious. Come on, Hungarians. Right, relations with the Pope has been increased, and free money. I still need to pay the Jews back. At some point. Okay. 
You're claiming stuff. This guy seems to be an enemy of mine. Maybe I should get an aggression pack to you. Can I? Who's your heir? A fatigued girl and a hair lip girl. Yeah, I really don't want you to attack me. Hmm. We'll see. I don't think the whole Roman Empire will attack me. It might just be this one guy. I could send Kunigunda into hiding because someone is trying to kill her. Okay. You, stop the plot. And this guy, this is the guy we're fighting against. Hmm, interesting. Hope we can win before he does anything bad. Okay, commander of Poland. I could, I could assign some commanders. Oh, interesting. A pretty wench threw herself at me. Yes, let's become lustful. That will that will increase our fertility, but we did not become lustful. Okay. Mm. Oh, perfect. I can make our daughter ambitious. Let's do that. Hopefully she will survive. Oops, high taxes. Mm, that's unfortunate, but we did get a lot of money from his actions, so that's not a big deal. How are you guys doing? Yeah, we're actually doing fine. As long as they're, they are busy elsewhere. This way... What? Interesting. I could press my wife's claim. And I'm going to do that as soon as this war is over. How old is your king again? He is... Not a gavel kind. Yeah, we'd need to change that. Mm, he's one. Yeah, I'm gonna attack you, but I need to get a son. Can we please get a son? I really need one. Can be inherited by successor. Hmm. Well, at least she is not sick. Really, really need a son. Let's continue. Come on, come on. Yeah, the Hungarians are pretty powerful. I'm I am happy with that alliance. Very happy with that. Also, we're constantly making money. Nice. And soon the play will come, which is less nice. Right. Oh, finally, she's pregnant. Please have a son. Hopefully a genius boy that will inherit both those realms. Uh, I don't want to... No, I don't want to torture anyone. Let's gain some piety. Okay, the rebellion is over. But we're still doing pretty well. Another claim? Sure. That's three claims on them already. This, this, and this. Now it's Galindia time. I think I can press all claims when I attack. That was what we will want to do. Oh, they attached to me. Perfect. Upon the conclusion of a long council meeting, you decide to make a toast. Of course, one toast eventually becomes many and time sleep, mm, seems to slip away. Later, as you leave the, the council chamber, you stumble and fall in your face, on your face. You can feel the taste of blood in your mouth and dizziness. You can become wounded or die. Help me. You notice Duke Troyden of Mazovia standing next to you. He seems to contemplate helping, but is not responding to you, please. Just before you pass out, you see him bringing the rest of the counselors out, and they look at you in pity. We become a drunkard, minus two stewardship. Damn it. You bastard. I'm gonna kill you someday. Alright, I guess I could assault the holding. We do have enough troops to do that, and they're mostly someone else's troops. Yes, 100% victory. False demands. Perfect. We have expanded our kingdom. Now it's time to strike at Lithuania. I need to disband my troops. 
Okay, you are threatening, am I? Well, it's time to strike fast, then. Kingdom of Lithuania, declare war. Oh. Wait a minute, why can't I press my claim? This is a regency. My wife's claim. Declare war. Claimants. She's a claimant. Why can I not press her claim? Let's see. Uh, let me see the claim that our wife has. Mm. Then it can be passed when female rulers of the claimant is male, regencies, title being contested, and the claimant is second or third in line in succession. This is a regency, so I don't know why I cannot press the claim. Maybe Do I have a truce with you? No. By all logic, I should be able to press the claim because this is a regency. Hmm. How about the Teutonic Order? If I were to attack you. Do you have any allies? No. Press all claims. Yeah, that would be three counties for me. I'll probably do that, but I do need my levies to reinforce a bit. Although... Okay, let's wait until the end of the month and see if we can do the Lithuanian thing. Did anything change? No. Weird. I should be able to do that. Is that because it's Agnatic Gavel kind? No, I should still be able to press it. Maybe if the guy, a guy died, there would be a succession war? No. Okay, let's attack the Teutons then. We should have enough troops to deal with them. How strong are you? 8,000. Will the Hungarians join me? Possibly. I'm not certain. They are also fighting the Lithuanians. Maybe I can get another claim. How about now? Can I uh, now attack you? No. I still have no wife. Hm, weird. Oh, we got another daughter. And she started with great pox. Blood. Bloody hell. God damn it. I know I have it, but... Really? The mother doesn't have it. <laughs> this is horrible. Okay. He can no longer raise as many levies. I think it's time to attack him. We don't have allies. I should have allies. Hmm. Maybe I can't call them in as often? Maybe we should wait. I could imprison the Chief of Gallic for plotting. His heir is a kinsman of mine. You know, he actually likes me. I could give him a place on the council. He would be pretty good as, good as, a, as a Chancellor. Who else would you be good at? A steward. Let's make him our steward. He would like us more. Matters of life and death. Uh, with age comes wisdom, they say, or at least it may change the questions we ask. You matter to yourself. Um, you have had trouble sleeping lately, more often than not. While the rest of your court is sound asleep, you find yourself staring at the ceiling. You're getting older each day closer to leaving this plane of existence. This folly to fear such things, of course, yet you cannot keep these feelings at bay. Didn't you mm, use to dream of grander things? What about you carving your own path? What happened to your ambitions? You sit up straight in your bed. This is ridiculous. You are the ruler. You have people ready to serve you at your whim. Perhaps your counselors have ideas. If nothing else, it might ease your trouble in sleeping. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's, let's summon a secret meeting. Oh, damn it. Our daughter is just a tough soldier. That's no good. We could marry her off to someone. Okay, a meeting of the minds. 
Uh, your council convenes and the faces of your advisors speak of confusion. Why are we here, my lord? It comes with a hint of concern. You sit down and the suspense is almost tangible. As you leave the question hanging in the air, finally you speak and without disclosing much of your current highly rest uh, nightly restlessness, you convey the message eloquently enough. I want to discuss the concept of life and death, and I want to look into everlasting life. So what do you think? The spirit rises in the room as your counselor starts to talk, some hesitantly, some gesturing wildly. They all have ideas. Okay, who should we... Um, our chancellor will use his diplomatic ties and send letters to all his confidants. Eternal life is surely something of interest to many noble, many a noble. Or, organize a search party, look for something. Or, handle this discreetly. The underground might have the information we need. Or, mm, our library is impressive. Huh, what should we do? What are your skills? Spymaster, what is your skill? 11. Actually, the Chancellor seems good. Let's use him. He has high diplomacy skill. Send letters. Although, probably the underbelly would be a better choice. King Char 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 Charles of Hungary wants to inherit my kingdom. Oh! My wife is dead. You want to marry my daughter, matrilineary? No, you're not. You don't. Why do you hate me? Why are you my rival, my daughter? Makes no sense. Eh, I guess it's fine. No, I'm not giving her up. It needs to be a matrilinear marriage. Have my levies recovered? Mostly. We probably attack the Teutons now. Press all claims. Although, if I am to fight them, maybe I should get some more claims first. I could attack these guys, but they're still a member of the Golden Horde, or rather a subject of the Golden Horde. I can understand why I can't attack this guy. Oh, Hungary would help me. But Hungary would not help me in this. Oh, they would! Going against the will of the council will be viewed as tyranny. Why? Has a favor from... Maybe I could... You know what, I should buy the favor, I think. Who owes me a favor? Does anyone owe me a favor? Council. Hmm, let's see. You. Can I buy your favor? 200. That is a lot, and you don't want to agree to that. Okay, who else? He's a malcontent. He's returning a favor to Mayor Malvoy of Kharkov. I can buy his favor. Conflicting interest. I could fire him. But first let's wait for him to fabricate another claim, maybe. That is a lot of stuff you have. Let's fabricate some more claims before we attack. Recover our guys and so on. I can always change my council. Really? What's that? Sick... Seek treatment for illness. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, do I want a tested treatment or an experimental one? Um, let's try an experiment. No, let's try a tested one. Good. Successful treatment. Perfect. We're ill, but we're getting better. I really don't understand why I can't attack him. Everyone would be for it, but making them a tributary is not something we want. Here's a claim on Volunia. And how long is my truce with you, the Golden Horde? 
Oh, we don't have a truce because the, the ruler changed. Oh, no, we do have a truce because truces are one sided. I forgot that. Uh, it ends in 10 years, 9 years. Okay. Yeah, I really want to attack the Teutons, but could use some more claims. Subtle touch. Okay, um, as per your orders, your Chancellor Mayor Malvi has been corresponding with all the important scholars and mm, scholarly nobles of the known world. Some of them have been intrigued by the inquiries put forward, others have been skeptical. Well, some have been outright dismissive. However, a select few have been relaying mysterious rumors from the north, stories surrounding nothing short of magic. Malvi informs you that one contact in particular is worried about the repercussions if it became known that they have been entertaining these borderline heretic ideas. It pains me to say, my lord, but this sort of gossip does not come for free. Okay. Have the money. There are supernatural events in the game, so maybe it's possible. Um... Let's start reading a book. You can also become a falconer. Perfect. More diplomacy. Alright. So. County of Karish. Someone is pillaging it. Those guys. Really? Yeah, they're not that strong. I could deal with them, and we would get our domain bigger. We only have three claims. I would like more than that. And our council is pretty good. Unfortunately, I would become a tyrant for voting for that. Let me see the council. You're returning a favor to him. I would need to convince him to fight. And he would not um, support this. Why would he not support this? Uh, not him. He, why? Does it say why? Mm. Target. Well, this must be true. There's an ongoing crusade he wants to focus on. That's why. When will that end? Well, the when the crusade ends, which will happen probably soon, maybe we can declare the war. Okay, I'm patient. Another claim. Perfect. Losing all that money. Move him elsewhere. We'll take all of this. However, now it is time to end the episode. Hopefully we can survive. We still have great pox. Um, so, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and join me soon for another one. Goodbye.